Javadoc comments are those that start with a slash asterisk asterisk and end with an asterisk slash. They're typically found above every class and every method definition. Javadoc is a tool that parses your program for Javadoc style comments and generates an application programming interface, an API. An API is documentation for your program in HTML format that looks similar to Oracle's J Java API. And you can use block tags in your Javadoc comments such as at param to describe a method parameter and at return to describe method return types. Also on the command line, you could type the Javadoc command javadoc-d, specify the destination and the name of your Java class, and it'll also create an API for you. So before we build some Javadoc comments, let's take a quick look at what Oracle's Java API looks like. In Google, you could just type Java API in your Java version 8, and you can find the Java API. And if you look at it, it is just a website with every single Java class listed in there, tons of them. And you can narrow it down by package name, like for example, java.util contains the scanner class. You can scroll down and find the scanner class. Select it and it shows you the official documentation for scanner. And there's a lot of stuff in there that you could read. And it also lists any kind of constructors that it has. Methods and ones that we're familiar with are the next method, next line, next int, next double, and so on. And what if I was to tell you that you can build a website exactly like this that looks just like it very easily in a matter of seconds. So all you need are javadoc style comments in your code and a little bit of Eclipse magic and boom you have a Java API that looks just like this. So let's do that. So here's a class called method overload demo and it has three add methods and a main method. And what we could do is above each class and method we could write a javadoc style comment. Slash asterisk asterisk and then press enter and then it automatically adds an author. That's my name. I'm James. You could say the method overloading demo class to describe it. Type whatever you want. Above the main method I could type and the slash asterisk asterisk and press enter and I could say main method and then it automatically adds this annotation that says param because the main method has a parameter called args and let's go back to let's go down to these three add methods and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write a javadoc style comment for the first one and I'm gonna type this add method will sum up two integers a is the first integer, B is the second integer, and it'll return the sum of A and B. So you write a comment or a description of each of these parameters and return types just like that. You don't want to include a hyphen or anything, just a single space is all you need. On the next add method, I'm not going to write a javadoc style comment. I'm, instead, I'm going to write a regular block style comment that looks like this it's one asterisk instead of two over here where it starts and then it doesn't give me these annotations I don't get param or return and I could say this is the add method that takes three integers yay and then on my third one I'm gonna do a javadoc style comment and I get a and b say that A is the first string, B is the second string, and notice I wrote first like this and second like that, and I'm going to show you why I did that intentionally in a little bit, and let's give this method a description right up here, add up two strings. the two strings combined is what it's going to return. So that's basically it. We wrote a bunch of javadoc style comments, but we intentionally made one of them a regular block style comment, not a javadoc style comment that starts with the two asterisks after the forward slash. So now let's generate javadocs, and this is how you do it in Eclipse. 
you select project and then select generate javadoc and then you get this screen right here that says generate javadoc what you need to do first before you create the api is find the location of the javadoc command so click on configure and then navigate to the location of your jdk directory so c program files java jdk bin and scroll down and look for javadoc.exe there it is and select open and make sure that it's pointing to the right location of wherever you install the jdk and then click next next finish click do you want to update the javadoc location for methods with the chosen destination folder sure that means it's just going to put it in my current workspace just click yes to all then you wait a couple seconds and look it's just doing all kinds of stuff and it took about about three or four seconds and automatically it created this folder called doc it stands for documentation click the little arrow next to it and there's a whole bunch of HTML files inside it and the important one is index.html so double click on index.html and check this out so now we have a website that looks exactly like Oracle's API for the class that we created method overloading demo and we can scroll down and look at our methods we have three add methods this one has my comment this will add, sum up two integers this will add up two strings but notice that the one with three parameters doesn't have any comment and that is because if you go back to Eclipse oops, that is because I used the wrong comment style so it was not able to find this and stick this word yay inside my comment so it only strips out the javadoc style comments only and to create this API and if you scroll down further it shows you all the parameters the at param and all the at returns the first integer the second integer and here we go here's the first string and the second string for the add method that takes two string parameters and it's exactly takes exactly what I typed and sticks it right in there and it builds this entire website and the nice thing about having a website like this is that after you're done building a Java program you can package it up and maybe create a jar file and give somebody else your code and be like here's my code you don't need to see it or figure out how to use it by looking at the code instead here's a Java API and you could look at all the methods and constructors and things that I have in it and just figure out how to use it by calling the methods that I have and read my comment descriptions that helps explain how to use these methods so basically it so this is how you create documentation for your Java code